Hello, my name is Joe Miller, and since becoming the Prof's first in-house consultant a little over two years ago, I've won three industry awards for supporting 100 candidates in successfully winning positions at the best universities in Britain. In this video, I'm going to share with you five quick tips on how to master your economics application to Cambridge University. First things first though, we must talk about a couple of strategic points when it comes to applying to Cambridge. You should be aware that Cambridge interviews around about double the number of candidates as Oxford does. So if you think that you're a candidate that would interview well, then perhaps Cambridge is a better choice for you. Second of all, when it comes to economics at Cambridge, there is far more emphasis on your mathematical ability in comparison to Oxford's E&M, PPE, or even history and econ economics course. Therefore, if you are great at further mathematics and you interview well, this could be strategically the best course for you. On to my five quick tips on how to master your application. The first tip I have is that your personal statement needs an identity. What do I mean by this? You need to have a certain intellectual curiosity that comes into your personal statement right at the beginning and that is rooted in the course that you're applying to. You must then be able to back this up, substantiate this identity with real supercurricular activities. That leads me on to my second quick tip, which is you need supercritical activities in your personal statement that set you apart from your peers at school. With 68% of Oxbridge students now coming from state schools, it is simply not enough to rely on those activities that your school are organizing for you, even if it's an EPQ, an IPQ, or an essay competition. You need to go above and beyond to set yourself apart. My third quick tip is that you need to keep abreast with the developments in your research area. So many schools tell their students to subscribe to The Economist or read the Financial Times. It's simply not enough to know what's happening in the current economy. You need to look up your course look at the structure of your course and look at the professors who are teaching you. What is their current research? What papers or books have they published in the last 24 months? Read those instead. It will make you stand out. My fourth quick tip actually was given to me by my old professor at Oxford when she was in the process of reading personal statements. And that is, when you write a personal statement, you should treat the admission professors as if they are omniscient. What does that mean? You should pretend that they know everything when it comes to the subject, subject matter on your course, in this case, economics. So don't waste valu valuable characters summarizing books or defining arguments in the third person. Tell me in the first person why that book or that lecture or that research project interested you. My fifth and final quick tip for mastering your Cambridge economics application is to keep it real. So many candidates try to sound more clever than they are, citing complex theories and methods when actually the professors reading these personal statements are not interested nor are they impressed by this. Instead, focus on two things. What is your intellectual curiosity? And what are the skills that you hope to gain from this degree? Tell the professor this in plain English. A nice test that I like all of my clients to run is when your personal statement is finished, Put it in the hands of somebody that doesn't know much about economics. Maybe one of your parents or guardians, maybe a teacher at school, or maybe a friend. They, even without knowing economics, should understand what your intellectual curiosity is, and they should understand the skills that you hope to gain from studying economics for three years at university. Ultimately, those are just a few of the tens of tips that we give our clients 
in supporting them with their application to Cambridge. If you would like to learn more from us or if you seek our support, please feel free to get in touch via the link below. Good luck.